When you're drafting, you sure don't have a lot of time. I wish it wasn't all the same deck. Benefit for the community. He would be surprised if there were more than 250 play sets in circulation. You actually have to figure out what everyone else is going to be anticipating. The conflict's escalating. Is the besiege happening? The war is starting. And this set has half mirrored, half Phyrexian. Grasp of Darkness is two black mana for an instant to give target creature minus four, minus four until end of turn. I'm just excited just to open the packs and just try to build a deck. There's your copy, Clayton. Thanks and good luck today. Okay. Did you, sign, did you already pre-reg? Uh, no. First name? The basic core set, it's the nuts and bolts of magic. It's what used to be called the intermediate sets, which I, they phased that out years ago. But in terms of it, it's supposed to be down to, if you want to introduce someone to magic, you bring in the core set. It has all the basic mechanics. It has everything you need to learn and everything that's going to be continued throughout Magic the entire time. So overall, the core set is there just to be kind of the nuts and bolts to make Magic work. I want to thank you for coming out here today for M12 pre-release at Yachtaquest. We're going to do a uh, sealed pre-release. Everyone's going to get six booster packs of M12. We're going to build a 40-card uh, minimum deck with that and get to play a number of rounds of Swiss. A core set pre-release is a event where players are given six packs that are sealed to open up and try to construct a 40 card deck to play in a round robin tournament against each other. Winner of this particular event takes home a booster box. Everyone who participates gets a foil promo depending on the set. I come in almost all the pre-releases. I just like playing Magic. Just to play Magic and get in on the new set. I mean, I enjoy drafting a lot, so I come to see what the new draft strategies there will be in the new set by just playing it. A core set is it's, it's the central set in Magic. It has half new cards, half reprints. It's one of the, probably one of the most favorite sets of the year. To reprint awesome old cards, like Wrath of God and Lightning Bolt. <laughs> this is the pillar of Magic. It's easiest for new players to get in with the core set, and it's, it's less complex mechanics in the core set. Core sets are basically used to pretty much introduce you to magic. It's very simple. It doesn't have like a huge overarching theme into it. It doesn't like contort the game. People who are new to magic maybe find out about it and they're like, oh, I'll come to a big event and just see a bunch of people meet and talk and play and learn about it. And uh, there are a lot of beginner friendly things at pre-releases. This is my first magic event. It was the nearest event to when I started about a month ago and just get my foot in the door. They're a lot more exciting than they've ever been because of the, the new cards. It, it has that, just that same appeal of, the, of, an, of a brand new block set as well as seeing what's been reprinted is always interesting. and kind of gives everybody a good baseline for the new standard. I would assume most people come for just to get new cards and get the cards they're looking for for standard and that they feel might influence the format. The only card that really keeps popping in my head is, is the new Garrick. That guy seems awesome. He's like Elspeth, Knight Errant, but he makes three threes instead of one ones. This is a reprint, but I'm excited about Psalms and Lockroom. Anytime I can see a card advantage engine that I know is solid and will see good constructed play, it gets me pretty excited about it. I'm also excited for Angelic Destiny, as well as Gideon Jura, and really all of the new Planeswalkers. Grim Lava Mancer, I love me some red spells. I've been playing with Grim Lava Mancer and Legacy for like four years now, so I'm just so excited to see it back in Standard. I'm glad they printed cards like Ponder because I'm a fan of, you know, blue cards that filter through your deck. I'm really sad to see Fauna Shaman go, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, I like this set overall. It's, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's not as interesting to draft as Scars Block, but then again, core sets never are, so it'll probably be just as good as M11 was for, for drafting. I actually like core sets a lot. Like, I particularly like core set and limited. I know a lot of people used to talk trash about it in the past, but like Magic 2011 was one of my favorite draft sets of all time, actually. Probably just about as good. I don't see it any better or worse than M11. Obviously, the Titans are still around. That helps a lot. Well, obviously, the, the three new Planeswalkers are pretty good. I mean, uh, Grook is really exciting. Chandra even more so, because first one colored mana uh, Planeswalker. And Jace, I mean, I was never really a fan of the Mind Sculptor, so this Jace is okay. The new Jace is bad. Don't play it. It might change when Innistrad comes out. If it's the case that it's a graveyard-based set, it might be good to mill yourself, but 
I feel like you have to do so much in your deck in order to get a graveyard strategy to work. And as far as we know, the only thing that's coming back is flashback. And like, milling yourself for flashback cards isn't that great, because usually a flashback cost is over-costed for what the spell's worth. I don't know, but yeah. The new Jace is bad, moral of the story. You have to understand the basics of the core set, because the core set has all the mechanics you're going to revisit and you're going to see over and over and over again. So you have to understand what flying means. If you don't understand what flying means, then when you get to the more advanced sets, that change the, the game a little bit to make something a little more relevant, like lands or artifacts. So you have to understand how the base game works in order to keep on moving. I mean, it's like the core base cards that define the format, you know. They really, like, the core set, I feel like, balances out the standard format for the other blocks. I like that it's core, so it's a pretty basic <laughs> set to play. You get, a, you get to do it with other people, you get to come out and enjoy the events, and. I like it a lot, so. Well, because there's still new cards every year, and it's it's just a fun time. Six-pack sealed doesn't happen very often. Pre-releases tend to be the only time that they happen. And it's it's just fun, and we're all enjoying it.